Life is going to beat you upside your head. Life will strip you to the core. You will cry. It's okay. It's a part of the deal. Every champion has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. The sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. But don't let it consume you. Even in the darkest times, even in the strongest storms, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light. You, your will, your determination. No matter what is happening, no matter how hard the fight is, as long as you keep fighting, you win. Only surrender is defeat. Only quitting is the end. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration to push you to say, I don't stop. When your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says, I don't stop. See, in your life, everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. No way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. I just need you to identify what your pain is and then I need you to ask yourself what you can do about it. You have a choice how you respond to your pain. You are not the only person that's been through a divorce, boo, get over it. You're not the first one, you won't be the last one. You can turn that divorce into something. You're not the first one to lose your promotion and get fired. You're not the first one. You're not the first one they let go of. You won't be the last one. The question is, what you gonna do about it? You have a choice to either give up or keep going. There's so many times that we're in these dark ass tunnels. The tunnels of life. When hard times are coming at you, man, and you feel alone and you feel trapped and you feel like there's no way out. And all you want to do is run the f- out of that tunnel because it's dark and scary. But if you can find just enough courage to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer, your eyes start to adjust to the night. And what happens, that darkness becomes the light. Life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. Life is going to hit you with a certain level of opposition. Life is going to hit you with a certain level of adversity. And life is going to say to you, you said you wanted it. Now let's see how bad you really want it. If somebody came and knocked you down, there ain't nothing you can do about it. But if I come back a week later and you're still on the ground, we got a problem. And some of you, you say, it ain't my fault. You right. The way you were born, what happened to you is not your fault. But doggone it, you're still on the ground after 20 years? If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. Don't you give up on your dream. I don't care if you don't have the money, and you don't have the help, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much. But don't you quit. Life is one big tug of war. And you don't win that tug of war by pushing the rope. You have to pull that motherfucker. And a lot of times you have to pull yourself through life. Pull yourself out of bed. Pull yourself out of a funk. Pull yourself out of whatever life is throwing at you to gain that confidence. Everybody's got a fucking plan so they can hit in the fucking mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the fucking down on the fucking canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is fucked up, what the fuck are you going to do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay fucking hard. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up 
will get up. I love myself enough not to be trapped in the same dark old spot for the rest of my life. I'm not stupid, I see what's going on, but I don't want to focus on that because if I put my energy into something negative, automatically my body's going to respond and I'm going to start doing negative stuff. That's the way the body is designed. You talk negative and your body does negative. You talk negative, you get diseases. You talk negative, mentally certain things happen. I'm not stupid, I know how to talk negative, but I've come to realize that when you think optimistically and you speak positively, you can speak those things which are not as though they were. You can say certain things out your mouth and make it happen. Every single person that you look up to, all of them dealt with their family and friends looking at them funny and making jokes. The difference is they continued to move when people told them to get back in line. They didn't get back in line. They continued to become what they knew they were inside of their soul. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got this, Craig. You're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullshit. Because before it was luck. It was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. Well, I remastered it and remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what success is. That every single module inside of it, you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. I guarantee you cannot pass it if you quit. I guarantee you're going to fail, but you don't know what's going to happen if you keep going. Before life is over, you got to go through everything. You got to speak to yourself. You got to stand up or life will tear you down. You got to make up in your mind. It's tougher than I thought it was going to be. And it hurts more than I expected. But I'm going to keep on hopping till I cross the line. This is what you do. You are built for this. If you would just believe that your day coming, that the sacrifices you are making today, they're going to pay off. But if you do not believe, it ain't going to happen. I want the guy who struggled. I want the guy that failed and could still get back up again. Your problem is your pain has identified you. Your pain has weakened you. And some of you, as long as it's a perfect day, you operate in excellence. And as soon as the circumstances change, you quit, you give up. So what makes ET different than everybody else? Every year, I just kept going. And I kept going. And I kept going. And I kept saying, one day going to be my day. But you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to quit in the process. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. When you get inspired, realize that person is made up of the same whatever it is as you. And the only difference is that person is the one who's fought just that little harder. If we were all only made up of atoms, then why don't you become the stronger energy, the superior one? Can't you see we live off each other and it's the people that shine brightly who affect us positively? Stop waiting for others to do it first and break through and go do it yourself. Look at that four minute mile. People thought it impossible and now every day people can achieve it. If you want something, you can get it. It only takes will. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you're giving up to me. I need effort from you. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Match the doggone effort. Stay the course. Give yourself a reason to wake up. Stay the course. Give yourself a reason to be dressed. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I brought back. I brought back. Average people live off talent. Phenomenal people live off efforts. Life's gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Let it hit you. But don't let it punk you. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. I don't care if you sick. I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you waking up, you still in the game. As long as you alive, you can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils, you still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. At the end of pain, 
is your meal. At the end of pay is your reward. At the end of pay is your productivity. At the end of pay is your promise. So stop crying about it and use your energy to get through it. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at some point. I cannot accept not trying. I don't feel rejected. I try. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm a problem solver. I'm not soft. I'm not weak. I don't quit. I don't give up. I don't surrender. I don't always win. But I always try. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you get fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. Just go until you get it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do in these days of darkness? What you gonna create? You gonna sit there and whine and cry? Or you gonna use the creative powers, the creative juice your God gave you? Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They paid you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. You got to look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. Pain is temporary. Pain is your friend. Pain is going to take you to the next level. No pain, no gain. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. Recycle your pain. You can decide the shape, the form, you can decide the product that comes from your pain. I cannot stop what happens to me, but I can dictate how I respond. But if you weak, you will be broke. And I'm not here because I'm the best. I'm here because they tried to break me, and they could. Because if you're willing to go through all the battle you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. And when you know what you want, you will do anything it takes to get it. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. How do you stand the race less when your life has been destroyed with drugs or alcohol, or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home, and you've been completely devastated? How can you tell me I can come back? Oh, let me tell you something. Whatever you want to do, whatever goal you have, all we need to do is we look at our dreams. As we get ready and hit the floor, I'm blessed and highly favored. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. You want affirmation? Look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Do whatever it takes. You your biggest driver. Life's this game of inches. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that inch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. The more you grind, the more you execute on the mission. You will separate yourself further and further from the crowd of average people who would rather spend their time coming up with reasons why they can't get it done today. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success, when everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend. No, your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. It is not easy, but I'm not about to quit. I'm not about to give up, and I'll do whatever it takes to maintain this. Stop letting yourself down. Stop breaking all these promises you make to yourself about how you're really gonna do it this time. This is the last time I give in to that addiction. If you don't truly mean it, don't bother saying it. But if you truly do want to change, you've got to decide wholeheartedly that I will not 
deviate from the plan. I will stick to it no matter what happens. I will execute every day of my life on that goal, on that vision, as if my life depends on it. When living life, try new things. Jump, fall, fight, create love. Live extreme and push your boundaries. Why? Simply because there will be no other time for you to do this. You're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. I don't care how young or old you are, age is a number and nothing more, and should be determined by experience, by what you have done and tested, how many times you have pushed your limits and broken down. You can become whatever you want, it's you that has to want it, has to fight for it. It doesn't matter about the money, because when you truly love something, money is no object, it appears. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way, and you stop at nothing to reach it. And while you're sitting there thinking, hesitating, debating in your head whether you should go do it or not, you're falling behind. You have to do that thing you got to do every day of your f***ing life. You may hate it some days, but you got to do it relentlessly and know that in the end, it'll all be worth it. The sacrifices you're making today for a better tomorrow are going to pay off. But if you quit, if you let up, it's not going to happen. Stay focused and stay on track. Don't let anyone or anything pull you off the plan. You have got to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth is that you do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the support. You do have the willpower and the discipline to get it done. And when we're being honest with ourselves, we know that we can all do much more than what we're doing right now. We can all give more to life than what we are right now. I will not go down that way. I choose to fight back. This is not time to quit. We might be discouraged, but we're not defeated. This is not our time to give up. We thrive in the discipline. We thrive under problems. We thrive under stress. That's what we do. We are acquainted with sorrow. We are acquainted with grief, but we rise. I want you to go look in the mirror and promise yourself from this day forward, I will become the very best version. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way. And you stop at nothing to reach it. Bill Collective are calling and your phone might be cut off. And you might lose your job. It takes a lot of guts. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You know, they talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. Well, let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game. Because you think grind is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grind is what happens when the lights come on. You think grind is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. Becoming successful is a situation of developing discipline, persistence, patience, grit, character traits that you don't just get you are not born with it's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to do so often we want to blame circumstances for the way things are we want to blame genetics for the reason we're kind of fat we got all these problems but might i suggest the problem is the pattern of your response But you can't change the product if you don't change the pattern. You can't change the way your career's going if you don't start changing your work ethic and your work habits and your inner relations. You can't change your wisdom unless you change your input. So the problem is the pattern. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do, and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. 
but you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it.